Ladies and gentlemen, this is game to the come video. We're going to be talking about the GTX 1080 Mobile. That's right, the mobile version of the graphics card is going to be hitting store shelves in the not too distant future. And it's going to be monstrous. And in fact, if one of the cards is not enough in your laptop, you can have up to two in SLI. But we'll go into that in just a second. So first of all, let's talk about the specifications of the GPU. Now, really, GPU comes down to a couple of things. Memory, bandwidth, the configuration of the core, and finally the clock speeds of that core. So the interesting thing is the GTX 1070 had a slight advantage on mobile when it came to the number of CUDA cores. It was 2048 versus 1920. But that's because the mobile version had a slight, a subtle clock speed disadvantage. It was running at a slightly slower speed. However, the mobile version of the GTX 1080 doesn't have anywhere to go. Oh, and for reference, it's not known as the GTX 1080M. It's just quite literally known as the GTX 1080. So they didn't have any wiggle room here because the full configuration of the GP104 is already being used for the desktop so they still have the same configuration of 2560 160 and 64 so that obviously represents CUDA cores um, texture mapping units and finally ROPS respectively so that's exactly the same as what we see in the traditional desktop part but the clock speed is a little bit more mysterious because there's no official leaks yet. However, a couple of folks over on Beidou have managed to grab some images of a laptop running an SLI and its core is running at around 1600 megahertz. However, the usual caveats appear, such as we don't know how long that's running, we don't know whether all of the clocks so all of the laptops are going to be running at that speed. They, it is running an SLI after all, so we don't know, for example, if the laptop was just getting a bit hot at that point. And we also know that the Pascal architecture runs dynamically. So, for example, the clock speeds will diminish or increase depending on the workload. So that's why the boost clocks of Pascal just keep going up and down somewhat. However... Let's now talk about the dual configuration. So, two GTX 1080s in a laptop was not really conceived of when they were putting together the MXM format, most likely. And so we're looking at a custom PCB manufactured by Clevo. Now, I am actually damn impressed with this configuration because to say that they've put in a lot of work to pack in all of the technology into such a tight area is a bit of an understatement. And honestly, when you factor in the heat that these damn things put out in such a small confined space, you know, relatively, it's damn impressive that they've managed to get around and put in so much bloody stuff into this. I realize that for the majority of you this is probably a outside of your pricing range or b outside of your interest range it's like obviously we're gonna have to wait and see what the battery life is on these things let's face it the battery life is probably going to be shitty so it does have some usage though let's say for example you're uh, on a long train commute so you could plug this thing into most passenger compartments and get gaming in which is definitely one way to go so you could be playing some doom on your on your train ride I suppose but you know most people are probably not going to be using it as a whole but it does have some other uses for example it's a small form factor so conceivably you could plug it into your your living room television with for example a HDMI out or whatever you want to do and that's certainly one way to go my take on that is that these devices have their uses like it's not personally something I'm interested in I personally and I know I keep saying personally but people seem to take these things really uh, with uh, gusto on the internet but personally I'm not really into mobile gaming at all I I'm someone who just likes to sit on you know lay in bed or sit on a couch or something and just game that's just how I prefer things but I can understand the appeal of the devices like this and honestly it's it's damn impressive to me that we're now getting pretty much top of the line cards in SLI in laptops without massive concessions. So that's awesome and it's a good state to show us where we are in the industry and also where we're going. And 
I mean, very unrealistic that you would ever do that, but conceivably, you could, I suppose, take one of these damn things and run a, um, a VR headset on it, so you're actually running virtual reality while, for example, you were, oh, I don't know, on a train, which would be kind of weird, assuming you could, you know, have the requisite power outlets. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll let you get going. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.